It's like we're getting all these good voice actors and, and actors that are leaving us. Like James Earl Jones, for instance, and Quincy Jones and Paul Walker and all those guys. And we're getting replaced with shit. It's like God wanted us to suffer. Because, like, I mean... James Earl Jones, a couple years before he lost his voice, he said he was selling his voice to, like, an AI program. And then shortly after that, he ended up passing away. And then we have all these other ones, like Lance Reddick and all these other, like, very popular just people that are just dying. I mean, like, I forgot to mention about Richard Simmons. Richard Simmons is gone, too. It's like, God is taking away all the good people... And leaving us with fucking garbage. Like, like Justin Bieber, for instance, alright? Drag racing a fucking pink Lamborghini in Miami, spitting on his fans, causing DWI charges. We don't need that shit. Amber Heard, over here ruining Johnny Depp's life, and she's over here fucking making millions out of ruining his life, which is completely unfair, by the way, because Johnny Depp is a favorable a favorable actor. And that's just not right. Because Johnny Depp has to sit there and suffer while his fucking bimbo ex has to goddamn go around and, you know, make millions falsely accusing him of shit. Oh, man. I think what we need to do is we need to bring originality back. Another thing I forgot to mention is Ezra Miller, the guy that plays in The Flash in the DC Universe. He was going around and beating up on women and touching kids and fucking God who knows what else, and this dickhead DC Universe director is like, oh, just shut up and enjoy the movie, you're gonna like it. After, like, a lot of fans called out this unhinged DC director... Because this guy was grooming fucking kids. And this DC Universe director basically just spat in the fans of, or faces of all of his fans. And let a groomer on the goddamn movie. That's just like saying, you know what, we should bring back EDP 445 after all the fucking child molesting he's done. Let's, let's give him like all of his million subs on YouTube. Let's give him back his, his money, his monetization, everything. After he was fucking a 13 year old. Yeah. Makes perfect sense. As I was saying before I got distracted with Ezra Miller is. We need to bring back originality dude. No more disgusting scumbag actors in Hollywood that you know just. They they just don't care. We need to bring back like originality. Not like 10 fucking Fast and the Furious movies. I think what we need to do. Is think outside the Taco Bell box. We need to like. Think of some original content. Think of some crazy shit that's out there. That would put Hollywood back on the map, you know? And honestly, you know, call me fucking crazy. But I think I got some film ideas. And one of the ideas, and I, I know I'm sitting here talking to like a lot of Netflix and Hasbro voice actors at, at dinner tables across the U.S. This isn't going to be crazy. If I ever stepped foot in Hollywood to, 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 to make movies, right? I think what we need to do is our fi first film should be filmed in, like, like Sweden or Norway or some Nordic country or something. And what I'm thinking is we make a live-action Skyrim movie with Chris Hemsworth. Think about that for a second. The guy that plays in Marvel's Thor, wielding a fucking Dragonborn sword, dude. And going around and, you know, fucking jacking shit up. That would be worthy of people's money. We, need, we just need to bring originality back, dude. That's all we need to do.